something else to agitate me. When preachers say hell was prepared for the devil and his angels. No, it wasn't. The lake of fire was prepared for the devil and his angels. And if you don't get saved, you belong to the devil. So, wherever the devil goes, for eternity you go. Hell, yes. God, the devil had the key to death and hell. Once your soul died, Satan had the right to keep that soul locked up in hell forever and ever and ever and ever. And the, according to how wicked of life you've lived, the wavelength of your wicked, the, uh, when you died, your spirit vibrated at the, uh, lower, the lower the wavelength you vibrated at, the more the devil and it's the, the more the demons in hell could torment you. Hell has its own rules by which, you know, for example, if you want to torture somebody, you have to torture them by the rules of this reality. In other words, you can't kill a person and bring back to life, kill him over and over again. You can't cut off his arm and put his arm back on and cut it off again. Same thing in hell. The, de the, the demons can torment. The demons have... The demons can torment souls in hell. But they can only do it according to the laws of hell. So just sorry, Bob, when Bill Weiss says the devils are, demons are tormenting people in hell, this is plausible. I'm, I'm not saying Bill Weiss's experience of 23 minutes in hell is true or not. I don't fuck. I don't freaking know. But hell is a distant body. Like I said, hell is the world of the distant body spirits. It's where the dead. Notice how Jesus says, "Told the scribes and Pharisees, ye are from beneath." So hell is a place where wickedness abounds. Uh, it's like a haunting. Ever, uh, if you believe in this that stuff that haunted houses. You get a little taste of hell. But if you die and go to hell, you're going to be haunting the place. You're going to be haunting where these hauntings come from. You're going to be haunting the place that haunts haunted houses. Ain't that some... You're, you're going to be living. You're going to be in the place where that comes from, all that stuff comes from. from. It's not until everything where the dead raised from the raised from the dead, given new bodies. That's why it's called the second death. They get that their, their their bodies are resurrected, unable to die, but they can't come to heaven, so they're thrown to the lake of fire. The devil, his angels, and then and then the devil will have no power to torture you in the lake of fire because everybody's gonna be busy being tormented. And those of you who say, oh, you can't, you can't suffer in spirit form because you're not a physical body. Let me show you, let me enlighten your mind, screwheads. If you put somebody in a sensory deprivation suit and float them in water, they cannot hear anything, they cannot see anything. Everything is darkness, no sound. They can't feel anything. Pretty soon the imagination starts to make them hallucinate. Feel sensations. Physical sensations. That's just the body. Imagine the spirit if you're thrown into the outer darkness. There's nothing but darkness. No sounds. Your spirit body can probably produce. However, according to how wicked you were. The wicked, uh, the it would it will become the fire you feel because you will be in out of darkness, not unable to see, hear, taste, feel, and your spiritual body will start. Nature abhors a vacuum, and this is true in the spirit world too. You will start feeling. 
as if you are burning, according to how wicked you have been. Uh, nobody really like wants to be evil and wicked. Nobody really. Well, if you if you've been wicked and evil, it will and uh, the cognitive distance. You want to be good, but you can't be good. Will be bur burn you forever and ever. And you, are, of course, you'll never be able to die. And demons. There's a. Have you ever heard of split personality? When trauma becomes so great that your uh, personality develops in the uh, little personalities that ha handle the conflict, what if in hell the trauma is so bad you split into personalities and these personalities become your inner demons? As real as a real demon, but they're your own creations. But you would swear you're being tormented by. Tormented by uh, ever growing number of demons that keep getting, keep growing and growing and growing and growing forever and ever and ever. So you you will feel you will be alone, but your own spirit will be manufacturing these multiple personalities that will be tormenting you, taunting you.